Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on how to add new users to your Fastos account. So to start, I'm going to log into my control panel. So go to fastos.co.uk, click on login and go to the control panel login. And from here, just use your usual username and password. Now I'm logged in, hover over my account and click account details. And here you can see the full list of users that are, uh, have access to your account and you can click add new users to add new ones. So this is mostly self-explanatory, but I'll quickly run through it. So obviously first name and last name, just new user here. The email address has to be unique, so it can't be used on any other accounts. And I've already got one saved on my clipboard to save a bit of time. Um, password needs to be medium strength. Remember, these users are going to have access to your account, so you need to make sure these passwords are nice and strong as well. So it's a good idea to enforce strong passwords, really, but you only need medium for it to work. OK, postal address. Um, if they're not at the same address as you, then you can enter a completely different one. Again, pretty self-explanatory. You've got it saved anyway, so. There uh, we go. And telephone, again, ooh, relatively self-explanatory, but I have to enter it anyway. And the only thing here that's not massively self-explanatory is this account user setting. So you've got access type, full and restricted. So there's a little slight difference in them. Full means they've got the same access as you have, so they can see everything. They can see the billing section, they can add packages, everything that you can do, this new user will be able to do too. Restricted just means they won't be able to see the billing section, so it means they can't change payment details and they can't view invoices. They can still add paid services to your account though, so just be careful who you're giving that one out to as well. So I'll just go with full on this one and preferred contact method. Again, self-explanatory, let's go with email. Security question. Faster is just because. And verify password, so that's your password for your account. And then you've just got to agree that the contact details are up to date and correct. That's as part of the terms and conditions. And there we go. That's it. So you can see the new user has been added to my additional contact users and it's got the access type as well. And you'll be able to log into that account as that new user pretty much straight away. Maybe give it five minutes if it's not logging in straight away. But yeah, it's pretty quick. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.